Today we are going to cover multiple inheritance in Python. Uh, in my last video, we looked at a single inheritance and we went through basic concept. In this one, we are going to inherit a class uh, from two different classes. So as you see here, I have defined two classes, father and mother. Father has one method, gardening. It just prints, I enjoy gardening. Mother has uh, one method called cooking. Now I'm going to define a child class from these two classes and the way you inherit your class from two classes is you specify just the class name in the bracket like this okay and that will inherit child class from this base class number one and base class number two okay now you can say uh, child what does child know so sports so child will say okay I enjoy sports okay now as the standard example indicates child will inherit properties of father and mother so that's why now child will have access to cooking and gardening method as well so when you create a child class object and if you say gardening it will allow it to access that method and then of course it can access its own method as well so let's run it and see what happens excellent so you can access so child class can access the method of both of these base classes okay so the benefit of multiple inheritance is sometimes you have two different classes and you just want to inherit the properties and methods of those classes just to reuse the code and then you want to add your own customization so that's when you should use multiple inheritance and you can inherit your class from as many classes as you want so here after comma you can type any number of classes and it should work Another way to look at uh, multiple inheritance is you can even in a single method you can call the base class method. So if I replace this method with let's say by calling just the skills. So let's say father has skills of gardening and programming. This father is a computer engineer by the way. And mother has a skill of cooking and art okay now the name of the methods are same here child also has the same method called skills and child enjoys sports now when you run the program like this it will okay let me just remove all these calls c dot skills when you run the program like this it will just print sports now if you want to inherit the base class skills method then you can just type in your class name here so father dot skills and you can do mother dot skills so what this will do is when it executes this method it will first execute father dot skills method and mother dot skills method and then it will print this statement so when you run it uh, oh yeah it, it is complaining because you need to pass this self parameter in the bracket okay so it says now gardening programming cooking and art so this child is a multi-talented personality now he has all the skills of his father which is gardening and programming all the skills of mother which is cooking and art and he has his own skills as well which is sports so that was all about multiple inheritance thank you for watching